UAB researchers are working to save Alabama's diamondback terrapin turtle, a species on the edge of becoming endangered. The diamondback terrapin basically inhabits the salt marshes in the bays all the way from, let's say, Massachusetts down to Texas. And basically, in, historically, they've been very abundant. And when we went out and started looking in Alabama, all of a sudden, they're few and far between. And we started looking in the literature, and lo and behold, it turns out that Alabama at one time had the largest terrapin farm basically in the world, right off the coast here. So it was, it was a tremendously valuable resource, to the point that the state of Alabama even enacted a tax on terrapin. UAB Terrapin Conservation Research started in 2006 at the site of that former turtle farm in the Cedar Point Marsh along Alabama's Dolphin Island, where what remains of the fledgling population is located. Quickly, the team understood the species was on the brink. I noticed crab trapping picking up dramatically during the 70s and early 80s in most of the coastal waters of Alabama. And at that point, we hardly ever found them. And this is a place that had 25,000 turtles, thousands of nesting turtles. And when we go down there today, we go down the channel right through the middle of what would be the terrapin farm. And we, on a good day, we see five to ten heads. To save the turtle, the team hatched its incubator idea in mid-2008 bringing egg clutches yeah, from the yeah, Alabama coast to UAB, go. where yeah, eggs and newborn turtles are raised in safety, free of crab traps that can drown them and predators like raccoons and birds. This is uh, where I grew up and this is, uh, you know, where I plan to live. And so I, I'm excited to, to sort of uh, work on, on, uh, on conservation in the state. The UAB Conservation Project is currently feeding and raising some 100 diamondback turtles, with more hatchlings on the way. As many as 25 turtles deemed large enough have already been returned to the wild of the Dolphin Island marshes as of the fall of 2009. This year we may put in, you know, 30 to 50 turtles back into Cedar Point Marsh, and that may be doubling the number of turtles that are reaching that size that year. Saving a species and a little bit of Alabama history at UAB.